Hi everybody, welcome back to the Marie channel. We are heading out to Glencoe today uh, for a full on winter camp. Probably going to cheat it and get the chairlift up from the Glencoe Ski Centre to make life easy for the old boys. And I'll also be meeting up with another vlogger who you'll see shortly, hopefully. So, we're just heading from Glasgow now. I'm just waiting on Richard, my brother, arriving, and then we'll head up the road. So I'll bring you back in a couple of hours when we get there and get kitted up. Right everybody, we're on the chair, heading up to the cool and our, our aim is to probably camp over on the right there at Craig Do. All being well, that's the plan. I'll swing you around see if you can see the guys behind me. So, should be a good night. Made it! Richard all ready to go. Me all ready to go. And we're just getting in the way of all the skiers. So it's time to get out of the ski area, I think. Let's get going. <laughs> nice view, guys, look. Lovely out there. Mr. Smith ahead of us here. We'll just try to decide on a campsite area here because we're expecting some wind to come in tonight from the south southwest. Ray's gone for it on the top there, which is affords him a great view. He's in the Sulo, so he should be able to take any any wind that comes his way. We're looking for something a bit more sheltered, maybe. Uh, so we're going to look over the rise behind Richard. I think we might have found a spot. Richard's thinking. Cook spot, seat spot, lovely view of the buckle up to Ben Nevis. We need to cut a wee bit out of this shelf to get get it flat, but it does provide a bit of wind protection.
Oh, that's still not that good. Right, folks, that's me. Got the tent up. Richard's well organised. He's decanting. I'm going to get my stuff in now and get it cold. And uh, Ray is on top of the hill up there somewhere. We're going to be looking at his tent, brand new tent, and campsite shortly. So that's us in. Settled in for the night. I'm going to take a wee wander before it gets dark and then maybe think about a wee brew. It doesn't look like I've forgotten anything major yet, which is a miracle. So as you no doubt guessed, or if I hadn't already said, we're in Glencoe with a mighty buckle behind us. The A82 going up the middle and then Ben Acrulist, I think it is, or Acrulist and the whole valley running down towards the Three Sisters of Glencoe and Richard's with me today, my brother he's in the Force 10 Helium UL1 and as you probably saw, Ray Smith, RS Outdoors is with us as well he's testing out a new Sulo and I'm in my Stone Glacier tent which has been brilliant, this is the first time I've tried it in snow so it should be an interesting test anyway, let's go and look and see where Ray's pitched up this is Ricardo's trusty Helium UL1 Yes indeed Should be cosy tonight in that wee thing it Certainly should be He's got a massive sleeping bag in there, what's your sleeping bag rated to? Your... It's a Simon one Simon one Comfort minus nine, he's going to be sorted <laughs> I'm comfort minus two, so we'll see how it goes <laughs> I may be screaming in the night Ah, there's mine, I've got everything stored in the vestibules to the side the ski area's gone nice and quiet now. I heard a couple of patrols going about and I guess we'll have peace bashers out, although tomorrow I think is not going to be particularly uh, attractive for skiing. In summer there, was it 96 year old, well, there's 84 pounds. Uh, the first time I did the cable was two and a So, I've just checked the latest forecast and I'm now saying 40 mile an hour winds. So, I'm just building up a snow wall at the back to stop wind drift, etc. Getting into the tent because I imagine we'll get a blast. Out. Just nipped out for a pee. It's absolutely brutal out here. Three right over there, walking about Phil. Richard's quite rightly hiding in his tent. The wind chill is crazy. <laughs> there he is. Oh, good evening. Cozy in here, look like. I'm sure you are, mate. I'm getting back in as well. Rescue chopper coming in. It's probably very blurry on my phone, unfortunately, folks, but he's uh, looks like he's heading for the buckle now, I think. And we did see some torchlight in a pretty strange position, either somebody possibly stuck in a gully or uh, climbers. You can see they've lit up the side of the buckle, wherever the... <coughs> presumably wherever he is. Oh, well, the problem is, amazing floodlights. It's a long way away, but hopefully you can still catch this on the camera. There's the helicopter top middle of your screen. We've got the fire rod and a bird's eye view of the rescue. As you can see in the background, this is what the phrase DLK. Okay. 
Well, I've just had my chilli con carne, which was tasty. Much better than the one last week, if you saw my last video. Um, the wind, I've just been checking the Met Office, Mid Mountain for Glencoe. It's gusting now to about 40 plus mile an hour over the next few hours. So we are getting a rattling. I'm hoping the tent will be alright. Uh, structurally it seems fine, it's just more flappy than I might have expected. It's been quite noisy, but Richard says this Helium 1 sounds worse, I think, out there. We'll see how it goes, we'll try and ride it out. I'm just going to have some banana sandwich and some chocolate raisins to keep the calories coming in. It's still pretty nippy. The mountain rescue that's been going on looks serious. Uh, the helicopter's back again just a while ago there. Possibly just picking up the rest of the team or maybe some other climbers, but I'm hoping everybody's A-OK. -okay. But uh, it was quite a long rescue, so I don't know what was going on and some very difficult terrain. So I think it's about nine, half nine now. Um, I've just made up a hot water bottle, stuck that in the bag just now, which is making my feet nice and toasty. Um, I'll stay up for a wee while yet, probably need to nip out for the loo, brush my teeth and then I'll retire um, and hopefully we'll get a reasonable night. The wind is coming on, sometimes it's pretty gusty, quite strong. Ray's texted me, I just uh, checked I was okay and uh, he seems to be pretty sound in the Sulo as well. So all was good and Richard's in the wee UL1, a wee bit flappy but it's perfectly solid. So we're all comfortable but we're all in our own tents. Just a lot of tent time tonight, it's too cold to be out there. Now the logs have gone out. The helicopter came back for the second part of the rescue or taking away the team or whatever. Um, it only hung around about 10 minutes and they've gone, so hopefully a successful outcome. So I'll bring you back later just before I go to my bed um, and I'll let you know how things are going. Right folks, I am off to bed. Well, I'm going to try and get some sleep anyway. I've just been outside and uh, yeah, I could hardly stand. So I must be doing about 40 mile an hour, I would say. Uh, but we'll see how this tent goes. Hopefully we'll get a night's sleep and I'll see you in the morning. Cheers just now. <laughs> Good morning everyone, half seven. A wild buffeting night, probably 40 mile an hour winds plus I would say. I was struggling to stand when I went out before I went into my sleep. Well, I call it sleep, on off. So we're packing, it's half seven, we're going to head for an eight o'clock departure and it might be a long walk down if the chairlift is not on. So anyway, I'll bring you back uh, when I've got everything away and we're on the move. Splash it up the hill there. Ray's up there somewhere. Peace Basher's doing the work. Right, that's us folks. Leave no trace as always. Packed up. We'll go and meet Ray over the hill and then start heading towards the chairlift and see if it's solid. So that's us folks, on the way down, quite a tough wee night all in all, 
uh, it was a lovely evening and it was interesting to see the rescue. I'm going to check that out and see if we can find out more about it. I just hope it all went okay and nobody was badly injured. Um, so thank you again for watching. So it's 24 hours on from that trip and I must have slept for 12 hours last night, absolutely shattered. It was a hard night. But uh, all I wanted to say was thanks very much for watching everybody. I tried to film on the way down in the chairlift, but the audio was blown away by the wind. Please give me a wee like and subscribe. And a big thank you to all those who bought me a coffee this month. I'll put some of the names up. Appreciate it every time. And I'll see you out there for the next one. Thank you again.